still on uh, President Daniel Arap Moy, the life of the retired uh, president has been easily told through those that captured his every move and also through pictures that froze moments. 69-year-old Mze Karila Soyola was privileged to have been the man who captured Mze Moy's photos, including his official presidential portrait. And as Raquel Muigai reports, it is a job Mze Oyola loved to do. This was the official portrait of the late President Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy. Every wall in public and private offices bore one. This picture I took uh, during a central bank luncheon. And uh, it came out to be the one that caught uh, the president's eye. So he liked the picture and he selected it. And uh, actually I'm proud of it because if, if you just see that this is the work of your hand. However, this was among many other photos that had been taken at the time, including some that were black and white. We collected quite a number of them. And the uh, former president had to consent. So the pictures were taken to him. And uh, he went through and he was saying, oh, but they are good. But then Sajiru told him, just select one that you want people to be using for their walls. Then I kept on trying. 69-year-old Mze Karela Soyola was Mze Moy's official photographer for the 24 years he was in power. A responsibility he undertook soon after Mze Jomo Kenyatta's death. That was just months after he had joined the presidential press service in May 1978. It used to be rough for us because... Uh, like you want to take a picture and people have crowded him and you must show uh, people through the the, the the media that you know is loved so much by by his people however the societal pressure that comes with working with the president is one mze oyola says was sometimes too much some see you as you know somebody who has made it and yet you are you are struggling for your family there was no extra comfort, actually, at the presidential press. 18 years later, since Mze Oyola retired from the position, he still holds dear to the photos he took, some within the country and others outside the country. <coughs> and while he might not have the strength to run around like he did, chasing moments to capture, he now spends his time at his rural home in Uyoma Kobong, Siaya, taking care of his cows as well as his shop in the nearby center. It was quite accommodative in his heart with people like us. And we were also very careful just to project what was he was doing for the people of Kenya. It is through Mze Oyola's work that we get to truly identify with the late President Moy. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.